Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something that my mother shared with me. I saw that she was making this beautiful coat and I asked her if I could share them, share it with you so I didn't doubt it, it's beautiful. So thank you mom to share this idea with all my friends here on YouTube. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will give you the step by step you will see and you will decide if you want a long or short sleeve, you will decide. But well, let's don't lose more time. Let's start. Well, look how beautiful. I love the combination of stitches that my mom made. So I will show you, don't worry. We will start to make this coat. We will start making the back first. And for this coat, I will use 500 grams of this yarn. It's a light material, it's number three. I will use this brand and in this color. And I will make this coat in a large size. If for, in, <laughs> sorry, for a large size, I will use 500, 500 grams. But you will uh, calculate, okay? Take this as a reference. And if you want it longer or maybe you don't want it with the sleeve, well, you will need less material. And I will use the hook of number three and a half. But well, let's start and well before, don't forget to subscribe. Well, something that I almost forgot, it's that I will divide this tutorial in two videos, okay? So this will be the first part. We will start making this code by the, the back we will make chains that goes from the width of our hip. It doesn't matter if you want it shorter or longer, but we have to take this measurement as a reference. For example, in my case, for a large size, the width of my hip have 110 chains. Well, for the second row, we are going to make weights. After the 110 chains, we are going to make 3 chains more, then we will come back, we will come 3 and then 2 more, and in the 5th chain, a single crochet. Okay, again, we are going to make 5 chains, then we will count 1, 2, and the 3rd, a single crochet. Again, 5 chains, and then we will skip two and in the third single crochet. Well, at the end of the row, turn around and again we will start with five chains one, two, three, four, and five. And here on the top of the first wave, we will insert the hook and single crochet. Again, five chains. And in the top of the next wave a single crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row and like this at the end we must have three rows here we have one here we are starting the second one so we must have one more and see you there well here we finish the three rows of waves and we will start the same first to start this row we will make three Wave. So we will start the same, making 5 chains, single crochet, again 5 chains, and then single crochet in the top of this wave, and then again 5 chains and a single crochet. So here we have 3 waves to begin this new row. Well, we have 1, 2, and 3, right? So here between waves, right here in this knot, we are going to make five double crochet. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then we will make, after this, a single crochet in the next wave. Well, after this shell, we are going to make five waves. Then again, we are going to make the shell and then five waves only at the beginning and at the end of the row we are going to make three waves but let's continue and see you at the end of this row well here just a review five waves and then here we have to make the shell then after this shell we will finish the row with three waves like we started remember so like this is how we are going to finish the row just i wanted to 
and make it with you. Well, look, this is the coat that my mom made. Uh, we already washed it, so that's why it looks like this. But look, we have the five waves and then the shell. Then five waves and then the shell. As you could see here, then we have to repeat the row of waves. So we have to make three rows, sorry, four and five waves of waves. And then we will repeat the row of the waves with the shell. But as you could see, we alternate the shells, you see. We have to take care of that and we have to see the drawing and to see what's next. And then we are going to make five rows of chains of waves, sorry, and then the shells with waves. And here in the edge, remember that we are going to respect and we should go straight, okay? So like this, we are going to continue. We are going to make as many rows as we need according to the length of the coat that we want. As you could see, we just continue straight until the shoulders, okay? So we didn't reduce or so. We just continue and we keep with the drawing and we alternate where we place the shells. That's the only secret. Well, and when we finish to make the back, see you to make the front. Well, look, I think that this long it's enough. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine series. Okay, and here I finish with this rows of waves. It's almost an a square. I will fold it so you can see and we can measure it. Uh, so this is the length of my bag let me show you the stitch is beautiful right so from almost to my butt and <laughs> to the shoulders we have 66 centimeters okay well you already know that I made nine series so once that you have ready your bag well now we are going to continue with the fronts well, I did get a head and this is one piece of the two fronts, okay? So this is just the first part. Here I just leave these stitches in hold because I don't know if I will join with the shoulder using the same stitch, but I will show you later. For now, remember that we started and we made the back. We made 110 chains. So the half of the first front, we are going to make 55 chains. So the exhale half, we have 55 chains, right? So here we started making three double crochet for the edge, then five chains and single crochet, again five chains and single crochet, and then three double crochet, and skipping two stitches each side. So from here, we are going to count, so take it as a reference, two, three, three chains. We will come back where we started, and right there we will insert the hook, and make up the first double crochet. Then next to it, we are going to make the second double crochet. Here we made three double crochet, then for the edge, remember, then five chains, we skip two, and the third single crochet, then five chains. Remember that we are making this according to the drawing and according to the stitch that my mom made. So again, two stitches, and in the third, right there, we will make the next three double crochet, one in each stitch, like this. And again, we will repeat the arches, and then the three double crochet. So like this, we are going to continue the whole row. And remember, like we started, we are going to finish. So if we started with three double crochet, we will finish with three double crochet. Like here, I already get ahead and I made the first front. I want that the second front be exactly the same. So I count and I have seven sections, segments of double crochet, you see. So here I must have the same number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here at the end, this will be the three double crochet plus I made two double crochet extra and this will be the part that will be facing to the inside so we will start again we will repeat we will make double crochet over double crochet here we will always repeat this edge 
and we will continue straight. Remember that this will be the part that goes and that will face inside the coat. Well then we will make three chains, one, two, three, and then here in the middle of this first wave we are going to make a single crochet. Well then again three chains, and then in the middle of the next wave a single crochet. Well then three chains, and we will start making the double crochet. One, two, and three. So as you could see, here we have the double crochet and then we have one, two, three waves and then the double crochet. Remember that in the last row we have two waves only. So th like this is how we are going to change the drawing a little bit. So like this we are going to continue the whole row. We will have three waves here and then we will crochet, double crochet over double crochet. And at the end of the row, remember that we are going to respect the double crochet that we have for the edge. So see you at the end of this row. Then at the end of the row, turn around and go up with three chains and then we will make the next double crochet. Remember double crochet over double crochet. And we are going to repeat what we made in the first row, okay? So five chains and single crochet. So here five chains, then single crochet in the middle of this wave and in the middle of the wave that we have right in the middle, do you see? So right there the single crochet, then five chains and then the double crochet over double crochet. So here we are going to make three, then five chains then single crochet and like this we will repeat the first row well and like this we are going to alternate the first and the second row okay once we will have two waves and once we will have three waves okay so like this we are going to continue alternating these rows until we get the long that we need uh, according to this I made one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen rows. And from the eighteenth row, it changed a little bit, but we'll see you here, and and I will teach you the next section, okay? Well, actually, in the coming sections, also we will change the stitch a little bit. But don't worry, I will show you how. For now, let's finish first this 18 rows with this stitch with once three waves and two waves and like this the whole all the rows. <laughs> well, this is how it looks and this is how I alternate the rows, you see. So this is the first section of the front of my coat. Now we are going to change the stitch. First we are going to make only double crochet and then we will make the mess, uh, mesh stitch, <laughs> sorry. Well, so we will start, we will go up with three chains and first we will make the stitches for the edge. So we are going to make double crochet over double crochet and then here in the holes we are going to make inside one and then here in the way of the middle we are going to make three double crochet, one, two and three then we are going to make one and then we are going to make double crochet over double crochet basically we are going to take back the stitches that we made at the beginning okay so like this is how we are going to organize the stitches okay one here three here and one here again well, I finished the row and I did get ahead and I started the next row. I made the five double crochet of the edge, then two chains, we will skip two and in the third, one double crochet and next to it a second double crochet, then two chains, skip two and in the third, one double crochet, then a second double crochet and like this. And we are going to continue like this the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, we will have something like this. We will make the last three double crochet of the edge, right? So turn around and again, we will start. We will crochet double crochet over double crochet. This will be 
the beginning this will be for the edge then two chains and again where we have to make double crochet we are going to make double crochet and where we made the chains we are going to make the chains I want to show you we are going to repeat this row three times you see then again only double crochet and we'll then again we change but for now let's finish first these three rows of mesh well I finished to make the three rows of mesh and now again I started making the first double crochet and then here in the spaces we are going to respect the number of chains for example we have two chains so we are going to make two double crochet so then we are going to make the double crochet of our double crochet and like this is how we are going to respect the stitches okay please be careful and don't make more because then you will increase well remember this row is only with double crochet well here I finished the row with only double crochet and now we are going to make the row of waves we won't make the stitches of the edge okay right away we will start with five chains so we will skip two and in the third single crochet then again five chains skip two and in the third single crochet and for example here like I finished the first front I will count how many waves I have to have the same number here in the second front so please count them and if you are making the first front uh, well please take notes and when you make the second front you will know how many you have to make well I already count and I have 18 waves here and 18 waves here too and well now we are going to repeat the same stitch that we made for the back remember where we made this shell well here we are going to make a review remember that we are here right where we have this in the edge so we will go up with five chains with one two three four five chains and then here inside of the wave we are going to make the first single crochet and then we are going to make the three the first three waves so here we have one then let's make the second one here single crochet right in the top and then again five chains and a single crochet so here we have the three waves and now we are going to make the shell so right away in the next knot we are going to make five double crochet all of them in the same space four and five then sorry five <laughs> and then single crochet right in the middle of the next wave so if we see the draw the drawing here we have five waves and then the shell so like this we will continue the whole row well let's stop here because guess what I didn't realize of this so please if you are still watching <laughs> stop and be careful and let's fix it okay if you see remember that I told you that we have to face this double crochet to the same side and look what I made I put them in the other side I put them face them to the other side so please be careful and as you could see here we have the shell facing to the wrong side here so the only thing and to me this is the easiest way to fix it instead I will make again this row and I will put the thread here and I will begin all over again because the shell is where uh, you can tell more that the stitch is in the wrong side yes instead of make this piece all over again but if you want you can repeat if not you can use this solution to me this is the easiest and the fastest way to fix it I'm so sorry if you arrive here with me I didn't realize of that but well also I wanted to show you in case you have this mistake mistake too and how you can fix it so here is where I'm going to start and I will repeat the row that I told you again so I can have the shells facing to the same side okay so let's start here and now according to the drawing um, we have to see that here 
after let me see so here we make two waves and then we have the shield right away so we are going to repeat and well remember I'm making this because I already have the second part ready so if you don't well just follow uh, the instructions with the same stitch that we are making remember that we are repeating the stitch of that we made for the back so it's the same so basically we are going to continue like this and now the shell will be facing to the right side you see so now we are going to make the five waves and the shell five waves and the shell and like this the whole row after this row we are going to make one two three rows of only waves and then again we will repeat the waves with shell and remember that we are going to alternate the shells like we make in the back remember so we are going to make one, two, three, four series. Remember, these four rows are one series. The row with shells and then the three rows of waves. So we are going to repeat four series and see you here to teach you how we are going to reduce. So here exactly at the end of the fourth shell, we will stop and then we will reduce. So until here we will make the first part of this code, okay? See you in the coming video to make the second part. For now you have homework, so see you in the next video. Well, so what do you think? Please stay tuned for the second part of this beautiful code. For now you have homework. And remember that see you here where we are going to reduce to make the neck. In the coming video, I will show you how we are going to make the neck and also how we are going to make the sleeves. So please stay tuned and make your homework and see you there. Uh, please don't forget to leave me a comment, don't forget to leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe here in the red bottom you can click it and it's completely free and you are subscribed thank you so much for watching till the end of this video and as I told you stay tuned for the second part thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on my social media Facebook Pinterest Instagram and now I'm new in TikTok thank you take care and don't forget to subscribe bye